in Uganda, same sex between males has been criminalized since 1894. And since 2000, uh, same sex relations between females was also criminalized. And life imprisonment is the punishment you get for canon knowledge against the religion. In 2007, uh, the BBC reported that over 500,000 LGBT exist in Uganda. My name is Pepe Julian Mazima. I work with Sexual Minorities Uganda, which is an LGBTIQ uh, network which works on advocacy and law reform, research and documentation, capacity development, and safety and protection. And I would like to tell you about two of our core work. Uh, that's advocacy and safety and protection. All the four areas I've mentioned are intertwined, but the core of our work is around advocacy. We advocate for protection of LGBTIQ persons in Uganda, and we do this through uh, public engagements, awareness raising, speaking to our members of parliament, all the stakeholders of all levels. And safety and protection really deals with the violations that are faced by the LGBTI community uh, based on prejudice that uh, the law that I've told you about um, you know, attracts the community. So we do psychosocial support, we do relocation for persons who have been violated, we offer medical support for them as well, and all this is done, um, is documented then. And once it's documented, then we have evidence. So our research and uh, documentation docket then makes sure that reports are released uh, to inform our advocacy because we cannot go to um, lawmakers or legislators without evidence. So this helps us in that way. And our capacity and um, capacity development is for our members to be able to grow um, in terms of managing their own organizations, in terms of managing the movement in general. So we need capacity for that, and those are the things that we offer. Um, how you come in is that we are long um, away from decriminalization, so we need your solidarity, we need your, uh, we need your money, because this work cannot be done without money. Um, thank you on behalf of Central Minorities.